Hi, this is Denier Squat uh, from Water, you see this? And this is our second talk from the roof. Today we're going to talk about a short intro about the Quantify itself. Because there is meetups going on all over the place in, in the world and in Europe. Soon we're going to have that. Quantify itself, you heard about that, maybe you read about that in the New York Times on Wired. So what is the Quantify itself? A bit of history. It started with Kevin Kelly, the founding editor of Wired. And he started to organize show and tell meetups at his place, end of 2008, together with Gary Wolf. The show and tell was just people sharing practices of them self-tracking. Yes, when you think about quantified self, and you want to search about it, you can find other keywords on Google. It could be personal informatics, or it could be self-tracking, for instance. On personal informatics, this is um, the subject of the thesis of somebody called Yan Li. Yan Li is a student at Carnegie Mellon University, and they have a, a department for personal informatics. Yan Li's website, yanli.com, has a lot of resources explaining listing the tools that helps us track ourselves, self-tracking. He lists tools, self-tracking tools that could be for taking care of your blood pressure, taking care of your heart rate, taking care of uh, tracking uh, the way you run, tracking bike riding, many things, you can see it all there. Or even your mood, mood jam, for instance. So, to name a few, you want to track your mood? Yes, go and use mood jam. You want to track your running, use runkeeper.com. Uh, and you want to see the, uh, um, the evolution of your disease, use, please do use a website which is curetogether.com. That's a great website, also founded by one of the directors of the Quantified Self Movement, Alexandra Carmichael. A lot of serendipity there, a very interesting research. Those tools are there because there might be benefits. We don't know everything yet, but the main benefit is to answer a question we have been asking ourselves and Socrates for 2,500 years, which is know yourself. Noti Theoton in Greek or connais-toi toi-même in French. Uh, how do you do this? Maybe collecting data, numbers about your activity, your heart rate, things, anything that uh, relates to you, might give you a better understanding of who you are and its objective. You might think that you work a lot and discover maybe not or the opposite. That's the benefit. There are studies that start to show that, for instance, if you scale yourself, you have more likeliness to reach your objective, for instance, to lose weight. Let's see. This is just something coming on. Quantified self is here to stay. Why? Because there is big trends behind that. It's the idea of sensors. Sooner or later, we're going to have sensors on our trousers, uh, jackets, and things like that, where it can track automatically what we do. But this is another subject. If you are interested in uh, quantified self, self-tracking, and this, in Europe, you have the possibility to participate in two meetups in September. The first meetup, organized in Amsterdam on the 20th of September. It's organized by uh, Joost Platel, Martin Den Braber and uh, James Burt, Life Size on Twitter. So 20th, 20th of September in Amsterdam. And the second one, it's organized by Adriana Lucas in London, together with myself. And there, please come and share your self-tracking stories. We'd be very happy to know about that. It was Talk from the Roof number two. Bis next to smile. À la prochaine. See you soon. Bye bye.